Hello everyone. Hello. Well, I'm so privileged to be standing right here in your presidio's presence right now. My name is Ebuka Styles, like um, he said, and we are going to be dealing on the power of attention. So, this young man right here was born into an average family, you know, a third born of my parents. I was, op I was opportune to start business at a very, very young age. You know, I started selling power banks um, at a young age when, um, when power banks were not popular. Yeah? I was part of the people benefiting from the inadequate power supply of Nigeria. And then from there, I went forward to you know, dropping that business because power banks became very, very popular. And I went into the business of selling fashion items, hoodies, shorts, shirts, and the likes of it. Trust me, I was making money for myself at that age. And then I went to school. I started a business in school, registered the company. It was a modeling agency. And guess what? After some time, the business failed. And then I went on to another business, um, a fashion magazine. I got a lot of people who were um, with me. We worked together. But we found out that the business we were, um, we were running was not profitable. It was not financially advantageous to us. It was born out of mere passion. And like every other business, we all know that sales and money is like the bloodline of every business. After some time, guess what? The business failed. And then I went into the agricultural sector. I invested 60,000 naira, and um, <laughs> it's always funny to say this. I didn't get my capital back. Yeah. What I got back was 6,000 Naira. And that 6,000 Naira, I used it to take the first bus back to Abuja from Mina. So this is my short story before I started Men's Sleeve. Yeah, Men's Sleeve is a business that are based and they work on men accessories. Yeah, while enriching and, and um, empowering the African woman yeah, while providing value to man. Good. So, before Men's Leave, I had a lot of downs. I had a lot of downs. And when I started Men's Leave, it was like history wanted to repeat itself. We started Men's Leave, we, we, we did the setup, and then sales, was, so sales were going low, 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 just because of one thing, attention. Nobody knew us. The only people who knew about Men's Leave as at then we were a handful of people. So we were not getting customers. Like I projected, we were not on social media. I was not even posting anything about men's sleep. You know, I was, let me say, I was shy. Okay, this is just a startup. So I wasn't posting anything at all about men's sleep. And then, guess what? We went online. Took the business on, on Instagram. I started talking about it on WhatsApp every single day up till date. There's no day that goes by without me posting at least three content related to business. There's no day. And if you are on my WhatsApp list, probably you've actually reposted or you've actually posted men's leave on your status. I went further to make sure that every single person on my WhatsApp list did a repost for me, yeah, for mentally. And then our sales turned into something else. If it was 10x, I won't be talking about it. It was like times 100, all because of attention. And this brings us to the power of attention. Now, oh, I know I was going to have issues with this up and down. So, um, we all know David Doe and Choma. If you, don't, if you don't know this guy here, please just skinify. Good. Okay, we all know David Doe and Choma and how he bought her a car. What for the seven million naira? 
Yeah? And guess what? The plate number on the car was written assurance. This this happened if like a few days before he released the song. Assurance, eh, assurance. Trust me, that single act of attention took that song places. Imagine like the like the whole community in Nigeria we're talking about how David Doe gave his girlfriend the gift. A car. Yeah? Why a lot of girls were enjoying it, a lot of guys were, ah, oh, man, this guy he has done something really, really bad. So just this act almost drove a whole lot of relationships to the extreme. Yeah, to the extreme. Okay. So um, the next person that I'm going to talk about is Richard Branson. We all know the CEO of Virgins. At a particular time, they were about launching Virgin Airways. And we all came to the launch. I was not there. We all came to, to the launch and found out that Richard Branson was putting on a red dress. He was dressed like a hair, hair hostess. Yeah? Good. He was dressed like that with a pantyhose, with red lipstick. Trust me, the whole community were talking about this. This led to the success of that launch. It was not a normal launch anymore. It wasn't a normal launch anymore because of this single act of strategic attention. Yeah? Good. So, leaving this, um, we all know um, Toby Bakare. If you don't know this guy, please just say you don't know him. You don't know anybody here. <laughs> so, we all know Toby Bakare. Right now, Toby Bakare doesn't wear shirt. <laughs> he doesn't wear shirt again. Why? Because he knows that the money he's going to make right now is dependent on the level of attention and influence that he attracts on social media and offline. So now he's getting endorsement from Delta. He's the ambassador of Lord's alcohol drink. Yeah, all because he doesn't wear shirt. <laughs> Level of attention. Level of what? Attention. So this is a whole, um, a, let me just call it a currency right now. Like we have dollar, naira, attention is the new currency. Good. Before I get to attention is a new currency. We all know Kylie Jenner of Kylie Cosmetics. Yeah. Very young. Let me not use amazing because I don't really know her. But after a lip surgery, the whole, the whole um, social media community were talking about how awful her lip looked. Yeah? And after some time, guess what happened? She launched her lipstick brand. And within a period of time, Forbes took her, the youngest billionaire out there, Kylie Jenner, all from lipstick brand. We all know the, the Kardashian family, the queens of attention. They do not take attention to chance. Wherever they can gain attention, they use it and maximize it like wholeheartedly. You get Good. So she benefited from the attention that she got. In fact, she benefited from controversy on the lip surgery that she had. Yeah. And right now, we don't need to, because you can see Forbes now, we don't need to talk too much. If you are, if you are on the front page of Forbes, you're not a small person again. Yeah? Good. So, attention is a new currency. Trust me. Attention is a new currency. We all know this guy. Cristiano Ronaldo. I'll tell you why I say attention is a new currency. For you to have something, a product or a services or a brand, and for him to post it on his social media, he's going to charge you $945,000. That's close to a million dollars. Now, brands call him. Brands put their stuff on his page. Why? Because they are looking for attention. They have the money. Now, when... When it gets to that point where companies no longer want their money enough 
that they give it to someone else because they want attention. I think attention is even worth more than money at that point. Attention is worth much more than money. Much more than money. But most people, because of how, um, of how popular the world, social media, the world attention has become, they tend to trivialize its use. They tend to trivialize its power. Yeah? And that is where it brings us down to obscurity. Obscurity is the killer of ideas. Any startup out there that doesn't last within a short period of one to five years, it's really not because they had an issue with their logo. No. Not because they had an issue with their brand color. No. Not because their brand message were not, um, were not appealing enough. But just one thing. Enough people their products, their brand, their services did not get in front of enough people. Even if you're selling a work product right now in the market and you can drive attention to it, you will sell. You will sell. You benefit. You benefit from numbers of eyes that get in front of your product. People are going to talk about it. Yeah? And that is why Steve Jobs said, the world is too noisy for you not to make sure that you put your own, right, your own word, your own message out there, not compromising your brand values, not, not compromising any other thing, making sure that it is clear enough. He made that statement, clear enough that people can see and understand. See and understand. So obscurity is the killer of ideas. The killer of ideas. The killer of ideas. If you're going to build a brand right now, you need a lot of people to see it. If you want to excel, you want to drive your sales upward. I'm telling you from experience now. Yeah? If you want to have this, you want to achieve your goals, you must get customers. And now, but forget about the part where you say, okay, yes, yeah, you're going to get referrals. There's no possibility of having a referral without a customer. There's no possibility of having a referral without a customer. So you must make sure your product goes out to a lot of people. And this drives me crazy. When I see some entrepreneurs talking to me and they're like, they don't have, um, their customer base is, is, like, is going low, lower than they expect, yeah? And I, and I just check their WhatsApp and I see their, um, their selfie here. Yeah. One month, your selfie. I can tell you, since I opened this company, I can count the numbers, the number of times I removed this logo. Yeah? The only time I, I remove this logo is when I have someone, um, someone who, who, has, who, who has not seen me. Yeah? And we need, and we fix an appointment to chat online. Then I, I just put that up. And after that, I took, I'll take it away. You get. So I see a lot of people who misuse this platform. You know WhatsApp. You know this is one of the uh, the most misused tool. Yeah. Because without this, let me tell you, but any customer can lose their Instagram password. But it's difficult for them to lose their number. Really, really difficult for them to lose their number. This is a platform where you engage with customers, even when they don't want to engage with you. Even when they don't want to engage with you. Whenever I'm giving social media lectures, I tell people, Instagram, Facebook are there to seduce your customers. Seduce your customers. But WhatsApp is like a ring. If you have a customer's WhatsApp um, handle, yeah, you can engage with that customer, give them any information, and also keep track. In fact, you can even know when the person collects salary. But most people misuse this. Their status is filled with comedy skit. In fact, if you want to know the latest um, savage tweets, just go to their, to their status. Filled with a lot of um, non-business related content. 
And at the end of the day, they are complaining about their family members, their friends not supporting them. It's funny. You're complaining your family members are not putting up your store when you only put your business and your status only on Mondays. When there's a rush for, ah, man, today's Monday, we have to get, you know, money, 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 Monday. That is the only time you put up your business on your WhatsApp status. In fact, even when you put it on your WhatsApp status, put in this with you. Your body is like, you feel itchy. Maybe because of fear that, um, that people will not respond or, or more people will not see or even people don't want to check your WhatsApp status again. The fear of that will make people post a whole... Most people now, but they are comedians. They are, they are indirect comedians because whatever joke a comedian releases, yeah, you find it there. You're not benefiting from this. If at all you're not complaining, if you're doing this and you're not, and you're not complaining that your sales are going low, I'm cool with it, but if you are complaining and you're still doing the same thing, I don't know, there's one, one guy who, who said, if you're doing the same thing and you want a different result, I think you must be stupid. If you're on Instagram here, yeah, you can check mentally. This is not me bragging, but I'm just trying to say that I'm practicing what I'm preaching. Yeah? So I'm, I'm not just here talking about so this and that. I'm talking experientially. Because I've tried the other way and I saw an awful result. So there's no, there's no other option than doing something excellently well. Yeah? And then, um, I want to really thank everybody for your attention so far. So far. I was here sometime last year, and um, he was preaching. And I was like, wow, wow, man, I like this environment. I like the way he was talking. He was Okay, we slide. Before that, I, I always see that in the seminar or on YouTube. And it was funny, but I told myself, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk here. I'm gonna do a speech here. I don't know, but I'm gonna do a speech here. Yeah? And that day, boss Abiwe came up and he was like, you need to drop contents every day. You need to drop contents every day. Just make sense. It was like, make sense. The world is watching. And then I went home. I was thinking. I was thinking. And then I called my team, my team members. Alex Nature is there. And I told him, man, we are, we are going to do 90 days challenge. We drop one video every day. And we are going to talk sense. And he, was, and he was just looking first. And he said, let's do it. <laughs> We had the choice to choose 30, 30 days or 60 days. But I wonder something that if somebody here that we did 90 days challenge, it's difficult to be consistent. It's difficult to be persistent. Even when there's no light, you know you have to create that content. Because now it is not just about you. A lot of people, the, the workers that you preach to every day, they are looking at you. The people that um, you, 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 do, you, do, you do not know the investors you have on your WhatsApp list. Hidden investors. Before this meeting, a young guy called me. And he was like, he wants to invest in. Never in my life will I ever, will I ever think that that guy had the amount of money he was even talking about. He didn't look it. The guy is just there. Yeah? So, and basically he's not even investing because of the product. What is there in the product? There are other brands. Yeah? But why is he, why is he, why, why, why did he decide to choose mentally? Because of the forces that are working behind the scene. He has seen, he has felt the energy that we put into whatever we are doing. Yeah? And then, we went through the 90 days challenge. And on the 90th day, I tagged Boss Abiria. 
It was like, wow, wow, man, we need to fix appointment. January. I was like, sir, it's a privilege, Joe. It's a privilege. It was a milestone, and we, and we had to shout about it. Not, apart from the fact that we got built right, from that 90 days challenge, our communication skills heightened. 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 But it brought a lot of attention to the company. A lot of attention. I've not been cured from, those, from that attention. I've not. And trust me, if we want to do another challenge, it cannot be 90 days. It will be 100. It will be 100. It wasn't easy, but we were able to pull it off. And today, if I'm, going to, if I'm standing right here, because, I will, because we were able to draw enough attention. If not, why on earth would I be putting on suit and standing in front of you? Yeah. So, there are tools. There are tools that you need to use to drive attention to your brand, to your product, to your services. And these tools, social media. If you're hiring, if you're hiring today, I want you to post it on social media. The world is watching. It's a sign of growth. Even if you just need one person, even if it's a secretary, post it. We are hiring you. Co, 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 we are hiring. Okay, I think we, we, have, um, we have the picture of the 90th day. This is in the 90th day. Yeah. So, um, you need to talk about it. We are hiring. Yeah? And let me tell you something. Grand Cardone, I don't know if you know, if you, if you know Grand Cardone, the, 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 the next master. He's, he said, if you make a sale, shout it to the world. People, most people are tired of, in fact, they are tired of men's sleep right now because if a distributor buys a pack, we tell them to snap and, and, and we post it and we shout, crown women, no. Yeah. We shout that people are being impacted by what we are doing. If we do not shout, who will shout for us? Yeah. And this brings us to ring your bell. Imagine this boss is your brand and you are the conductor. The conductor who shouts most, the conductor who shouts most gets his boss filled up faster. Nobody's going to shout for you. No one is going to do the shouting for you. I've never seen since I was born. I've never seen another conductor Help a conductor shout, area one, area one, area one, for people to enter his bus. Never seen. But you need to shout. You need to ring your bell because no one will ring it for you. And if you keep ringing your bell, sooner or later, sooner or later, I promise you, your bus will get filled up. Thank you very much.